Today, we're visiting the Hager's Town and Harper's Ferry area. This small city is steeped in a surprising amount of history and culture. Whether you are looking for a place to entertain the youngest members of the family, explore some history, check out some amazing museums, or eat some great food, you will not be disappointed. After getting some coffee, we are heading over to a portion of the Hagerstown Culture Trail. The trail winds its way throughout the city and features numerous works of art to enjoy as you walk its lands. We're feeling a bit hungry after that walk, so we're heading to the Pennsylvania Dutch market to get something to eat. There's an incredible variety of delicious treats, so if you are hungry, be prepared with plenty of space to keep everything you end up buying. The market also has a large area for dining if you want to sit down and enjoy some hot food. I got sausage and chicken, both were quite delicious. As mentioned before, there are so many delicious items, we just couldn't help but buy a few treats to take on the road. decided to give some of the more colorful items a try before heading to our next stop. Now let's head over to the Discovery Station, a great place to visit for the entire family. For kids, there are a number of exhibits for them to play with to stimulate their imagination. Display an exhibit featuring the Titanic. Those third classrooms looked cramped. during our visit was an exhibit on robotics. Now we're on our 
way to the city park and the city founder's home. The park is beautifully designed, allowing for enjoyment of nature in a city environment. The museum features everything from historical paintings to contemporary sculpture. Here's an interesting dinner setting. Also a gift shop if you want a souvenir. I'm still in mood for art, so let's visit the Hagerstown Art District. This part of the city is the place to go for theater and entertainment. is also home to some restaurants if you want to include a dinner with a show. If you would like to purchase some art to take home, there are also several art galleries in the district. district also connects with the culture trail if you are on foot. Not far from the art district is the Zion United Church of Christ. graveyard is as old as the city itself and is the final resting place of the city founder. 
Also in the city is the historic Rose Hill Cemetery. The cemetery is known for being peaceful and scenic. There are some famous people laid to rest here, such as the American radio pioneer Harum Percy Maxim. Now let's go talk with Sandy, a local, I about Hagerstown. Tell me a little bit about um, yourself. Like, yeah, you know, I grew up in the city. Yeah, you know, I grew up in the city. Yeah, you know, I grew up in the city. Yeah, you know, I grew up in the city. Yeah, you know, I grew up in the city. Yeah, you know, I grew up in the city. Yeah, you know, I grew up in the city. Yeah, you know, I grew up in the city. Yeah, you know, I grew up in the city. Yeah, you know, I grew up in the city. Yeah, you know, I grew up in the city. Yeah, you know, I I'm studying. I mean, I have a um, I have a marketing uh, degree uh, background. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm a uh, um, I own an event planning business, mm-hmm. and which I do a lot of events, weddings, bar mitzvah, bar, um, sweet sixteens. You know, all corporate office. You know, so I've been doing that for the past twenty something years, and um, so now I went back to school to finish human um, human resources management. Uh-huh. Um, so I have a degree in um, business administration, marketing. Uh, mar- uh, background of marketing and and um, and I do as a hobby. I'm a baker. See, but there are, you know, some histories um, here, though. Like- oh yeah, there absolutely, absolutely. Um, there is the battlefield. Mm-hmm. You know, there's the battlefield, and um, and apparently, uh, what I have understood is all these places. I think this used to be like a cemetery, or they used to be the battlefield, like with soldiers and everything uh-huh. like that. Where we're at. The whole area. <laughs> yeah, I, wow. that's what I have understood. You know, uh-huh. so not much. I don't understand not much of the Hagerstown history. But um, when they have like a beautiful cemetery and a beautiful lake around here, you uh-huh. know, so there's like a lake, uh, not a lake, uh, um, a uh, a pond. Mm-hmm. So here um, down to, that's where all the that's where they take uh, like uh, seniors' picture, <laughs> you know, like you know, like high school pictures uh-huh. and everything like that. Like they, it's beautiful right it's, there. So, um, are there any like uh, special food um from this area, or like what do you guys normally eat in I, this area? I, I personally, because I don't really, I'm not much of Hagerstown, you know, <laughs> uh-huh. but I've had uh people like uh, at my work, they um, they're very famous with their donuts. Donuts. Yes, they have <laughs> this place. I'm not sure what it's called. Uh huh. Um. But their donuts are like I I call them steroid donuts. They're oh, huge, wow. and they're like so. Let's say for a cheesecake filling, okay? Uh-huh. So uh, they have a donut with the cheesecake filling, or they have it with apple sauce. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, apple pie filling. Uh-huh. So the donuts are like about huge. They're this big. Wow. They're, yeah, and and <laughs> they have um they have on top a pie Got filling uh-huh. or a cheesecake filling or chocolate pudding filling. They are absolutely delicious. <laughs> so, um, you mentioned that you have been living here for sixteen years, mm-hmm. right? So, like, what was Hagerstown like back then? Like, is it was it different from today? Yes, uh, Hagerstown was a little yes. That, that's what I was saying. It was less modernized. So <laughs> now I feel yeah, it was uh-huh. less modernized. I felt like I was going to a different century. You know, it was very like it didn't have that many modern stuff and everything like that. And um, so now uh, they're up to date with a lot of the, you know, shopping center and everything like that. They're putting more like uh, beautiful bowling alleys, you mm-hmm. know. They're putting more activities in here. So um, compare, you know, people here with other states. Like, how how do you feel? Are they um, are they more, you know, like normal or? Um. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. But like, I mean, uh, because I really don't hang out. Uh huh. You know, with uh, you know, there. Uh, in Montgomery County, they're more bougie, more uh-huh. like snotty than okay. than than Hagerstown. Hagerstown is more humble. You know oh, what I mean? Okay. Some people are more. You know, it's it's a more humble area. You uh-huh. know what I mean? And um, I guess I see it that way. You know, they're just very. Um, like I said, they're very. Uh, very American. Yes, <laughs> very American. Yeah. 
about 30 miles away from Hager's town is the historical city of Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. The town was a manufacturing center and was also home to the Harpers Ferry Armory that John Brown famously raided in his attempt to inspire a slave rebellion before the Civil War. The town gets its name from a ferry that was operated in the 18th century by Robert Harper. as well as incredible natural beauty that somehow combines with the town to create a very beautiful picture. Today, the town is mostly just a tourist attraction, the largest employer being the National Park Service. took place on September 17, 1862, and is known as the bloodiest day in American history. The battlefield itself is dotted by numerous monuments to different groups of soldiers and important events that took place during the battle.
Confederate soldiers died on what has been dubbed the Bloody Land. Bloody land, there is a tower that offers unbeatable views of the battlefield. Let's go have a look. It's a bit of a climb, so be prepared. But it's worth it to see everything from this vantage point. If you look in the windows, you will see arrows pointing out where important events took place during the battle. Just across from the battlefield is the Antietam National Cemetery, where many of those who died in the battle are buried. I can't help thinking about all the lives that were cut short over this conflict and wonder what their lives might have been like if history had gone a different way. Now, let's go back into the town of Sharpsburg to have a look around. If you're in need of cool refreshment after walking around the battlefield, the town has several options available. Sharpsburg is a typical example of a small American town with its old homes and buildings lining the main streets at the center of the town. You get the feeling life has gone on here unchanged for a long time. It's evening, and that means dinner. We're making one last stop at the Korean market. If you are hungry and want something different, they have many options available, as well as a place to sit and enjoy the food. Hagerstown and Harper's Ferry area have so much to offer. If you find yourself in the area, don't be afraid to stop and have a look. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time.